I have the pleasure of talking with William Maxwell, who is the brains behind WM Graphics. So, William Maxwell, did you always want to be a graphic designer? Yes, I always had aspirations of, at some point in time, becoming a graphic designer slash illustrator. Um, because when I originally kind of discovered that I wanted to become a visual artist slash designer um, was early on when I was very young. I discovered that I could really draw well when I was in elementary school actually. And um, at that point, um, you know, I would dibble and dabble, but I never really took it serious initially um, when I was in elementary school. But um, I had older guys in my neighborhood who were very talented artists, and, you know, I would always watch them and kind of admire them. And um, because I was a comic book collector early on, that kind of jump-started my artistic career because, you know, I always wanted to kind of create my own comic books and do my own comic book characters. And uh, some of the other guys in the neighborhood that I grew up in, uh, in Washington, D.C., they uh, were a little older than I was. And, you know, they were pretty talented guys and gave me an opportunity to kind of learn some things from them. And uh, by the time I got to junior high school, that's when I kind of realized that, you know, there may be something with this art thing. So I decided to uh, make sure that I had art classes in my curriculum. And I was fortunate enough to go to a junior high school because back in the day when I was in school, it was broken up into elementary, junior high, and high school, which is kind of similar to the way they have it currently with the uh, grade schools broken up, you know. But our school went up to the ninth grade in junior high school. And I had a very good junior high school teacher by the name of Miss Baker. And Miss Baker was a small woman, but she didn't take any mess. She was very stern and very uh, about business when you were in her class. And, uh, and I definitely appreciate that to this day because it taught me early on the importance of being disciplined and also taught me the importance of, you know, putting my best foot forward. So um, those are my early roots in really realizing that, you know, I had a talent that I could really use throughout my life and be able to uh, make a, a living for myself doing things in the arts. Okay. Uh, what age would you say you realized your interest in the arts? Well, again, like I said, I, I, I kind of had uh, interest in it early in life. I mean, I always had the ability to draw. I can't remember when I didn't pick up a pencil and paper and sketch and doodle. Um, early on, I, I, you know, I used to love automobiles and used to draw automobile images and um, just household items, things laying around the house. I would just pick up and draw things that, um, that I saw and uh, was pretty good at it. And, um, and by the time I would say ready to go to junior high school, um, right off the top of my head, I can't remember what the age was when I was going into the seventh grade, but uh, I was probably, you know, uh, preteen, early teens, uh, when I really realized that, you know, 
I had a real gift with drawing and um, 